All right, good morning. It's 8.15, probably about a couple miles in already. Started about uh, 7.30, 7.25 from Shap. Uh, it's very windy, not very windy, but it's windy out today. So I won't be, uh, I wanted to stop here out of the wind so I could do a first video of the day. So uh, I'm just on a little, little track, little path here, walking up to uh, towards uh, Kirby Stevens. So a 20 mile stretch from Shap to Kirby Stevens. So I wanted to get up early and get a start on it. But uh, yeah, it's been a good morning so far, honestly. I mean, it's a little, a little windy and chilly, but it's okay. Uh, had a good meal last night at the pub there, the uh, New Inns Lodge. It was really nice, uh, great steak pie, but it's very nice. Uh, campsite was good, it was clean, decent you can expect from a campsite. Shop's a nice little village. It's got a co-op there, so I stopped in there and got resupply for the rest of the next two days. Because I'm going into villages, so I should be able to, don't need to bring too much with me. So, yeah. I'm just standing in front of this build house right now, out of the wind. It's like a little tunnel into a house. Definitely got some wind burn or sunshine or something. But, okay, I'm gonna carry on and uh, it's a lot of dale over the dales now over moorland so it's open country so i'm not sure what exactly i'm going to see the guy i met at uh, the new inn lodge the hiker there he was doing the c2c but he's doing it the opposite way as me he said it was nice he enjoyed this section and i've spoken to another lady in the in the lake district she said this section is supposed to be really nice so let's see what it has to offer coast to coast day five okay check back I actually go next to I think I turn away from it, but it's should be able to see it, I guess. And then, uh, and then over a moor, and then into uh, Kirby Stevens. So I don't, know how, I don't really know how many more miles I gotta go, but just uh, trot along. Took a break a minute ago and had a snack, and then uh, one o'clock because it's uh, 11:45 now. I'm gonna stop and have lunch. So have a, maybe a hot chocolate or something. So yeah, that's where I'm at right now. 
right now, just walking down a field, bro. Uh, down a gravel road here. Nothing but open country. Okay, catch you a little bit later. Okay, uh, just stopping for lunch now. It's one o'clock. I'm uh, just uh, sitting up against this brick wall here out of the wind, which is nice. Uh, that's the way I'm heading. And uh, that's the way I came from. So, yeah, there's a bunch, few sheep in the field with their little lambs. They're very cute. But, uh, yeah, I just walked through the Red Rave Stone Dale Moor. Which is, uh, you know, it wasn't too bad. It was just, my, just ups and downs, you know, mild like rolling hill up and down. It wasn't too bad. So, yeah, I'm, I'm still heading towards Kirby Stevens. I'm just, uh, should be there shortly, I hope, by the next five miles, maybe. Just got to go through a bunch of more, looks like a bunch of more uh, farm fields and stuff. And, uh, yeah, then I should be there. Yeah, then I should be there. So, I mean, nice. Uh, just having lunch. So, today I've got a BLT sandwich, pork pie. Now, what do I got there? Uh, double decker chocolate bar, some snack bars, I mean, snack uh, nuts and whatever, and a cup of coffee. So, yeah, I'm just sitting there charging the phone now and just uh, relaxing for 30 minutes. I'm getting up at 1.30, so should be a 30 minute break. There's a Baba coming with his lamb. Oh, sorry. He's coming over here. He's coming over here. Better be careful with those mamas. I want to come after you. She's coming though, isn't she? With her little lamb mouth. <laughs> Keep an eye on her when she gets close. You know, I get aggressive. Anyway. All right. That's it for right now. I'm just going to chill and have my lunch now. Let my feet rest. Oh, she's looking at me. What are you doing? What are you doing? Uh oh. Isn't the baby cute? Why are you coming over here? Come on then. No charging. Hi mama. No charging. See, the, it'll be like the fourth sheep that's charged me, which is very rare because I've never encountered that before, even with lambs. It'll be the first time. This is the first trip that I've ever had uh, sheep actually get aggressive. I know they have their lambs, but. He's cute, isn't he? Very nice little fella. All right, well, that's it. Looks like they're just coming to check me out. Hopefully she doesn't get aggressive. I'll have to jump up real quick. <laughs> All right, okay, small update. The, uh, the, kid, uh, the lamb is getting curious. He's really close. I don't know how much closer he's gonna get. I hope he doesn't, because then his mom might find me a threat and she might come over and charge me. That wouldn't be a good situation. He was interested though, isn't he? he got white feet. Don't you come any closer. No! Don't do it. Don't do it! Mm, yeah, he's very curious, isn't he? You, my dear, are very curious little lamb. Sorry, my big slop and I'm eating my sandwich. Go away. We got a hiker coming. Hopefully, don't scare mama away. He's very curious. All right. If he gets any closer, I'll start another video. All right, just a small update here. Just a small update, Just went over to Spardale. Yeah, you see the Spardale Bridge over there? And just over there is an old uh, train box. There's a railroad going through there, and it goes over a viaduct that's over there, and I just took the picture for you. You see that pre the previous or after it. So yeah, just sitting over here relaxing. There's a lot of people coming down the trail over there. That's where I came from. 
there's a few people and there's a few people down there by the uh by the bridge by the smart smardale bridge a few people down there so yeah it's uh looking really nice this is where i'm walking up just this uh, cliff here next to the bridge next to the sorry the rock wall here uh yeah it's pretty very pretty uh views here very nice and green that way very pretty that's basically where it just come from down there but yeah this is, I guess this is a Smardale Valley, I would imagine. Yeah, so, very pretty. Right, let's get moving. Okay, uh, coming into the final stretch of, uh, into Kirby Stevens, just dropped off the top of the uh, hills there by, uh, I can't remember the place now, Scarfield Valley or something like that. Anyway, just came off the top there and I'm heading down into the village now. I've got to go into the railway and then it should be pretty much into the village. And then uh, find my campsite, which is I think the name here. And, uh, over in the distance I saw the nine standards already, so that's what I'm doing tomorrow. And it's a short day tomorrow, I think it's only 11 miles, so that'll be nice. So I'll probably... Uh, Thinking about not having dinner tonight at the, any pub and just having breakfast tomorrow somewhere in Kirby, in Kirby Stevens. I find a cafe or something. Have breakfast. So I've got uh, some pasta for dinner tonight, so let's use that. Just walking down the road right now, about to turn left and under the railroad and into Kirby Stevenson. So that's pretty much the end of day five. It's been fun. It's been a nice day. Uh, a little wind in front of me coming up and then. Up there, I had wind behind me, so that was nice. So yeah, the views over the valley are pretty good. Yeah, so I'll be uh, heading in now. See what this campsite's like. Hopefully, it's a nice one. Cheers.